PlayStation 5 looks stock and stupid. I've said it once and I'll say it again. The majority of the gaming community, myself included, is not a huge fan of the reverse Oreo design that Sony went with, white on the outside, black on the inside. Now, as you stallions and stallionettes know, if you've been around the channel for a while, we leave absolutely nothing stock here. Controllers, consoles, PCs, peripherals, etc. So when I would catch a glimpse of my PS5 out of my peripherals, I would get a little bit queasy because there was an aroma of... Mm hmm smells stock. Thank you, Kevin, from the past. You're so eloquent and well-spoken and handsome as well, I, I would say. You were slimmer back then as well and had less facial hair, but you didn't have a controller wall, which does make you less of a man. One of the easiest things you can do to customize the looks of your PS5 is going to be the side plates or panels as they do pop off. Actually, the easiest thing for you to do would be a vinyl decal sticker or wrap kit. But if you want to take it to the next level, that would be plates. Now, if you're a DIYer or you're on a budget, you might want to spray paint or hydro dip them yourself. Nothing wrong with that. But today we're going to take a good close look at aim controllers, not controllers, but their PS5 side plates, which are only available for the disc version and ranges from $50 for base or solid colors to $80 for some kick-ass hydro dip graphics. Let's get it. A quick disclaimer for my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, these plates were sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. I haven't been paid or told to say anything about them, so if there's any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it. So these companies make better products over time. Step one is going to be to properly shut down your PS5. Don't put it into rest mode. Don't put her to sleep for the night. Go ahead and shut it off completely. So no rest mode. You want to fully shut it down. So the packaging is cardboard. It's red. It's black. It says aimcontrollers.com in a massive logo. Then you got your plates. They won't just be loosey-goosey like this. The two pieces will be separated with a foam divider, and each side panel will be wrapped in bubble wrap. The two things I want to take a look at with these plates is going to be the hydro dipping, the actual graphics, but the hydro dipping does look absolutely phenomenal. One of the things I thought was really cool is there's actually a bunch of little aim logos all throughout the pattern, which is really cool. And the second thing I wanted to look at is this little air duct, because this is exactly where the fans are on the PlayStation 5, but they're completely covered, sealed off with the stock side plates, the OEM factory stockers. A numbs clums haphazard decision there in the R&D department, it's just sealed off on the stock plate. I always thought that was stupid. Anyway, D Brands has a little hole on their plates. AIM has a cutout on their plates. And this looks um, like it would do the job. But this is also going to give some dust coverage as well. Not to mention dust isn't really going to like drop down and then in at an angle like that. It would just go straight down, get into other parts of the PS5. I'm getting hella sidetracked. I know, I know, sweetheart. Now I have removed the side plates or panels of a PS5 twice on camera now on the channel. Both were fantastic adventures, great time for everyone involved, except me or the person who's actually taking off the panels because it is a huge pain in the rump or took us. Getting them on is not that difficult at all. Getting them off, especially the first few times when these pins are a little bit brittle. Not pins, but these little notches or whatever you want to call them. But the first few times is definitely a pain in the arse. Now one major limitation of these side panels is they are only available for the disc version of the PS5, which is the version I have been recommending since November of 20, since the console dropped. I'm not going to get into it now, but you know, class action lawsuit. The only place you can buy digital games for the PS4 and 5 is through the PlayStation Network. As opposed to prior to 2018, you could buy a digital code from like Best Buy, Walmart, etc. Redeem that in the store so you could get a, a fair price. You had a little bit of a competition, if you will. Now that's not the case, and Sony generally charges 60 to 80% more for the same titles. Not new release titles, obviously, but older used titles are substantially more expensive on the PSN. And now that they sell a digital only console for $100 cheaper than the disc version of that same console, a lot of gamers might be tempted to pop for it for the $100 of savings. However, other than just the quick reason that I just skimmed over now, there's other reasons you, you want to go for the disc version. And this is a, another reason, apparently, AIM only makes side plates or uh, panels for the disc version. But you're not screwed if you have the digital only version. You could always pop them off, hydro dip or spray paint your own panels or vinyl wrap them, wrap them with a decal. You have plenty of options. Well, this is the first time I've seen her without the panels on in quite some time and I'm actually quite impressed. It's actually pretty clean in here. Minimal dust. I'm actually really impressed. Little vinyl decal there. Our RGB strips there. And I'll also say that the satin black spray painted panels have held up incredibly well. These have been on the console every day for about eight months and uh, yeah, they look Fine. But these are going to look a whole hell of a lot better. A little more premium roasted or a little more professional in line with the gamer heaven. Put down a little tech mat here so we don't hurt or scrape her while we're during operation. All right, let's pop these panels on, boy. It's so hot in this room. I will not turn on the fan, though, because that will degrade the audio quality for you. And I won't have that. No, sir. <laughs> well, excuse me. 
It's the sound of your console breaking. On the other side, let's break her equally to even things out. I'll break you on the left and I'll flip you around. I'll break you on the right, get shredded. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that looks super sick. One thing to note, the PlayStation logo is now completely gone because obviously AIM and D Brands for that matter does not have the licensing from Sony for that PlayStation logo. So that's why on aftermarket third-party plates, you're just gonna have a smooth piece here or maybe their own custom logo or something, but it's not gonna be Sony's little giblet on there. Run these wires down the back here, nice and smooth-like. You won't you won't see them ever, never again. I swear to God, you won't. Is there something else I can help with? Just shutting your pie hole when I'm recording videos, I guess. I'm just trying to do my job here, sweetheart. Good luck. Lord. Ew. Yeah, this is gonna look s slick and, s and sick. Oh my god, I can't wait to see it with the RGB light bleeding through. Yeah, send them out a decoy. Ooh. Reach out. Whoops a doozy. Where did these aim plates stand up against their competitors? Because these are not the only ones on the market. D Brands has gotten into a lot of legal problems with Sony, but they did come out on top with their redesigned 2.0 plates, which without all the add-ons and accoutrement, if you will, is $60, usually $70 on sale for $60 currently. But those only come in three solid colors: black, gray, and white. The Sony story is a bit confusing for their license plates because they are available for pre-order now. However, it's already past the initial pre-order date. But to my knowledge, nobody's actually received any plates from Sony, and these actually haven't been sold. But the cool thing about the and Sony plates is you do still have that PlayStation logo on the side and these will retail for $55. However, they will sell out pretty damn quickly and you will have to get them from PlayStation Direct. There's also a lot of options on Amazon that I have browsed, but they're all pretty basic. There's some clear translucent versions and this one is pretty awesome because it's actually 3D etched or printed with this hex pattern on there. But I will say AIM by far has the most flashy, poppy, and for lack of a better word, coolest looking plates out currently because of these hydro dipped graphics, which are incredibly high quality and they do have a massive selection. Collection. The only complaint I have is around the actual disc tray. The hydro dipping isn't peeling or flaking or anything like that, but there's a certain part where it looks like it wasn't even actually hydro dipped by the film, which is completely understandable because where that little crease is, where the disc slot is, I know from hydro dipping controllers and mice and all kinds of random crap in the past that those tight nooks and cracks and crevices are damn near impossible to get the hydro dipping graphics into. And AIM isn't using some kind of crazy technology. It's probably an actual man or woman dipping the shit into a massive pool with the hydro dipping film. I'd love to take a tour of the AIM facilities if they want to invite me out for a, a day, have a cup of coffee or something, maybe shoot some footage. That'd be cool. I'd like it. And as for the pricing, I do think it's quite fair as the solid colors are $50 and these flashy graphics that probably take a little bit more effort on their end to hydro dip are $80. I'd like to see them drop down to around 70, but and whatever. I also do think AIM is slightly shooting themselves in the foot by only offering the disc only version. However, I'm sure this is only a start and eventually they will have the digital or discless version as well. So what is my verdict of the AIM play? Should you pick these bad boys up over its competitors? For example, a bunch of generic third-party options on Amazon. Well, first of all, graphically, they do have a lot more designs, and I think they do look quite handsome. And you're going from a reputable source, not some random third-party vendor on Amazon. And I think the biggest convenience factor with these plates is if you're already placing an order with aimcontrollers.com, maybe you got yourself a pro controller for Xbox or PlayStation, maybe you just bought yourself a mouse and mouse pad, whatever, gamer goodies. Then you just see out of the corner of your eyes, because your peripherals are so damn good, because you're a top-tier athlete, esports athlete, that is. You see these side plates, go ahead and chuck those in your cart and check out using the code stallions to knock off a good portion of your order. This month, January, it's $60 off any order of 249, but it varies. It fluctuates from month to month. Generally at the last day of each month, I'll make a little written post on my socials as well as maybe a little short form video being like, hey, this is the deals for the month. And uh, this is my aim code. This is what's happening here. Would I pick up these plates personally as opposed to all of its competitors? Well, I haven't tested D brands and to my knowledge, nobody's tested Sony's first party plates yet. When I say tested, I mean, you're not really doing anything crazy with these bad boys. You pop them on, you stare at them. Does it look cool? They're plastic plates for God's sake. Yeah, I think their designs are absolutely phenomenal. And if you don't want to have a PS5 that looks like everybody else's, which I personally don't like to leave anything stock, um, these are right up my diagon alley. These are linked in the description below alongside that coupon code stallions. And I'll see you stallions tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. To get in touch with myself and the 
stallions and stallionettes of gamer heaven, join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.